Hi, it's Alex from Inside Gadgets. Today I'm going to be showing you how we can change the clock speed on the fly by using the clocks prescaler. We have here an AT Tiny 85, like it comes out of the factory. In this demo, we're going to show the LED blinking on and off for a second, then we're going to increase the clock speed, and then we're also going to make it blink for one second as well. What we'll notice is that since delay is calculated on compile time, we actually will have to increase the delay time, but we're going to cover that later. Now it's time to go to the datasheet. So we've just got the datasheet open up here, and we want to find more information about the clock, so number six looks like the right option, and we'll, it's just got a diagram here. We've got the different clock sources, and just the different uh, clock units over here. Um, we're interested in the system clock prescaler which will allow us to change the clock speed. So if we scroll down a bit we can actually see the oscillator here and the route that it takes to become the system clock and we've got prescaler over here so that's the part we're interested in. So let's skip over to that and it's uh, the prescaler register has the clock prescale change enable bit and then these four bits select the clock uh, prescaler that you want um, and if we just scroll down you'll see the different combinations that we can have um, and so the AT Tiny out of the factory comes with the 8 megahertz uh, oscillator and by default the clock division factor is 8 so whenever you turn on the AT Tiny it uh, divides the clock 8 by 8 and then it gives you just the 1 megahertz clock. So in order to change that we have to just uh, just read here on how we actually go about doing that so it actually says we have to write 1 to this bit and once we've done that within 4 clock cycles we have to write the clock prescaler that we want and then um, and just write a 0 to uh, this clock enable bit so basically just do a one here and then just set any of these bits that you want according to the division factor that you want um, and also when you're doing that you just have to disable the interrupt so that's just using the CLI and then you can just enable them again using SEI uh, so let's switch over to the actual code and it's just uh, just blinking the LED um, we're using WinAVR in programmers notepad and we've just got the pin map here where you connect the LED um, and we're just setting the LED as an output and now we're just um, we're at 1 megahertz at the moment from up here and so we just turn on the LED, wait a second, turn it off wait another second and now we're going to actually change it to 2 megahertz and so what we do, we go over here and we find out what um, what would 2 megahertz be? So it would be 8 divided 4 would give us 2 megahertz. So for that, we just have to turn this clock prescaler bit 1 to 1 and leave the others as 0. So in order to change to 2 megahertz, we have to disable the interrupts, um, set the prescaler to enable, and then just set that uh, uh, clock PS1 bit to 1, and then that will give us the bit division factor of 4 and then just enable the interrupts again and so now the thing with um, the thing with delay is that it's all done when you compile so it all depends on the fcpu that you use so we're, we're using one megahertz so two megahertz is double that of one megahertz so what we do is we actually double the delay to two it would be two seconds but really we're running at double double speed so this two seconds will really be one second and so we do that again over here so we're turning on um, we're wait we're pausing a second turning off and pausing in another second and so now after we've we've done that we want to go back to one megahertz so we disable the interrupts set the clock prescaler enable to one and then we divide it by eight so that's how it was when it came out of the factory so we set this bit to one this bit to one according to the data sheet here, these two ones are uh, one, and then we just enable the interrupts and then it just goes back up here to 
just delaying a second and then we uh, go back again. So let's uh, see that in action. So we've got it up and running now and what we can see is the end result is that it's the LEDs blinking once every second and we know what's really happening is that it's changing to 2 megahertz and delaying double that time so that it will be um, one second as well and then it goes drops back down to one megahertz and then it does the delay as one second thanks for watching